welcome to Would I Lie to You, the show all about the art of lying. On Lemax team tonight, we have the star of Doc Martin, a show whose enormous success has had the Cornish locals high sixing each other. It's Martin Clues! <laughs> And uh, another very successful comedian actor who's uh, even been awarded an OBE? Yes. For what? <laughs> I mean, I like the Kumars as much as the next man. But an OBE? <laughs> it's Sanjeev Bhaskar! <laughs> and on David Mitchell's team, a presenter who once interviewed Tony Blair about the Iraq War and his decision to remove Saddam Hussein from office. Not the most light-hearted moment an all-star Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> it's Fern Britain! <laughs> and the man who puts the E into Richard Grant. It's Richard <laughs> E. Grant! <laughs> right, let's get started then with uh, round one. It's Home Truths, where our panellists each read out a statement from the card in front of them. Now, to make things harder, they've never seen the card before, so they've no idea what they'll be faced with. It's up to the opposing team to separate the truth from the lies. And Sanjeev Ooh. is first up. I once had to ask Michael Winner to calm down after I crashed into his car. <laughs> Right. Um, was this... At the time when you asked him to calm down, had his brilliant Eshaw campaign already hit our screens and so it, you know, seemed like an apposite thing to say? Or was this years ago and angrier Michael Winner, who still had a film career? Yes. <laughs> uh, it, well, I think it was before the, the adverts. Right, so maybe that's what gave him the idea. Quite, quite possibly. What car was he driving? He was driving a Bentley. What colour? Uh, I don't know, it was dark. Well, it was at night or it was a dark Bentley? <laughs> Both. Both. It was dark. That's why it blended in. Right. That's why I hit him. Are you so sure he had a car at all? <laughs> <laughs> well, you mean I just hit him up the arse? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was once a very large man. <laughs> what was your car? I was in a Vauxhall Cavalier. And where did, where did, you, where did the crash happen? Yes. It was uh, Kensington High Street in London. Who was in the car with him? Uh, no one, I think. He Describe was driving himself. Whole... He was driving himself, yeah. yeah. Describe the whole incident. Mm. Uh, it was raining and it was dark and I braked. And the guy in front of me braked very suddenly and I went into the back of him. So you both get out of the car. At this point, you're presumably quite surprised to see that it's Michael Winner. I, I started laughing. Right. <laughs> and yet, what was his response? He said, uh, he said, that bump is about a thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Then Michael Winner got out of the car. And, uh, <laughs> he said, uh, "I agree with the first chat." Uh, <laughs> no, he, he, I started laughing, and he just said, uh, uh, "This isn't very funny." And I said, "I think it is." Um, Did you exchange all the details? Uh, I think I gave him my details. I don't think he gave. Did you include his. the OBE in your details? <laughs> I didn't have one at the time. This was pre-decoration. <laughs> was it this incident that led to your being awarded the OBE? <laughs> <laughs> because I think you should have got a knighthood. Well, <laughs> you have to kill him for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't have a passenger with him because he's very friendly with Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving down the road when <laughs> we felt a prang in the arse. <laughs> I looked around. Who do you bloody think it was? <laughs> Only Sanjeev Bhaskar, free decoration. <laughs> what do you think, David's team? Mm. Michael Winner does have a driver, always talks about the driver in his reviews. Well, you think it's true. Well, I'm so gullible, I think, yes. Oh, did it? Oh, really? You think it's well, a lie. It <laughs> There's something about that he would have a chauffeur or someone else in the car. So, on the basis I have the casting vote, I'm going to say lie. Saying that it's a lie. Yeah. OK. Sanjeev Bhaskar, OBE. <laughs> Are you telling the truth or telling a lie? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. Sanjeev did once have to ask Michael Winner to calm down after he crashed into his car. <laughs> it was a serious accident, but a couple of good panel beaters and some light touching up and Michael looked as good as new. <laughs> Fern, it is you that is next. I had 
a job as a postman, but left after a week because I couldn't ride the bike. B Mac, what do you think? What, when was this? Uh, when I was a student. Oh, not just after this morning. <laughs> <laughs> did they provide a bike or did you have your own bike? They provide a bike. And you couldn't ride it? No. Why couldn't you ride it? Because the basket on the front that you put the letters in doesn't turn when you turn the handlebars, so you think you're probably going straight on, but you're not, you're trying to turn right, and you think, I'm scared, and then you fall off. Sorry, what decade, what decade are we talking basket about? Basket on the... <laughs> basket on the front? How old were you at the time? Um, 18, so 1933. <laughs> <laughs> She's exaggerating. 34, <laughs> OK. My wife has a, has a bike with a high basket at the front. Sometimes I'll pop up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I might pop up into the basket, you know. <laughs> I'm doing Ronnie Corbett. <laughs> I might <laughs> pop up and admire the view. <laughs> As you were. <laughs> so you lasted a week. Good. You lasted. Don't encourage him. <laughs> I'm just glad that basket wasn't big enough to fit Terry Wogan in. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're a week, just one week is no. <laughs> oh, I feel it's coming on. <laughs> now, are you, are you edging anywhere closer to, to suicide? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do after that? What was your next job? <coughs> Fern. Question. You seem to be <laughs> Jiggle my mouse, I'll come back. Um, oh, I said, I did. <laughs> um, I worked in a sweet shop. So it's what do you guess? Think? Martin thinks it's true. Martin think thinks it's true. It's true. Yeah. Are you basing that on anything than a 50-50 guess? I'm basing it on because I didn't think it was when you started. You seemed hesitant. But then yeah. the confidence and the fullness of your answers convinced me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, that's probably the most polite answer we've had on the show. Yeah. <laughs> The bit I don't understand is how the basket doesn't go the same way as well, the... Well, that's what she didn't understand. That's what let her down over the whole arrangement was the <laughs> faulty bloody bicycle. Go on, go with your science. You think it's not true? No. OK, it's time to make a guess. Well, I th I, what do we think? What was your... Summary? I've told you! Well, I didn't listen. <laughs> Jesus, this is dragging on, isn't it? You were a bit like Doc Martin then when you got a bit cross, wasn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we saw that side of him, didn't we? It was quite exciting. <laughs> it was like watching Doc Martin without having to watch it. <laughs> I liked you in Inspector Morse. Do you remember when you went, you're a damn fool, Morse? Do you remember that? I also called him Cheese Inspector, but I said it really quickly, so no, and they left it in. Cheese Inspector? <laughs> For was friends, when uh, I got a job, I called Lovejoy Love Juice as well. Did you? Ah, Love Juice. Oh, really? <laughs> Let's take a guess then. Uh, I think it's true. You think it's true? Yeah, I don't think it's true. I have to make the decision then, so I'll go with Sanjeev and say that that is not true. You think it's not true? You think it's a lie? Okay, so, Fern Britain, were you telling the truth or were you telling a lie? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's true. Fern did have a job as a postman, but she left after a week because she couldn't ride the bike. Uh, part of the problem is that the wheels on a post office bike are larger than normal. That's according to a spokesperson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beauty. <laughs> right, uh, Martin Clunes, you're up next.